Hey guys, welcome to hey. Waste Not Wednesday. We are live from the farmhouse coming at you with a project because I need to never get Zeb to do anything non-essential because he's so busy, you know, putting a roof on the house. I was like, today, let's fix the porch swing so he can actually swing in it. So we're gonna be showing you how we actually get the porch swing to function. I figured this was a good Waste Not Wednesday because it came with a house, so essentially it was free with purchase. Um, and we are going to be using swings that I purchased at the thrift store and reusing the chains on them to um, get this to hang correctly. And then we'll buy chains later for the swings whenever we build a swing set. And excuse the noise in the background, my daughter is backing up her... Well, and we're also outside, so you're going to hear trucks driving by in cars. Odelia is backing up her golf cart, so it makes a fun little... <laughs> and she's trying not to hit the expedition. Are you getting us a drink, Odelia? Hey, stop. Don't hit my don't, car. <laughs> no, hit the car with the golf cart. All right, let's get doing this. Let's get started. In case you didn't know, my daughter just turned 15 yesterday, and for her birthday, we bought her a golf cart to practice driving on. Um, she's going to be getting her permit soon and then her license in a year. So we thought that would be good. Plus, no car insurance and no gas, and she doesn't need a license to drive it in town. So it's great. So when we bought the house, this had like a bunch of weird ropes on it. What happened is, the, uh, the little A here on the bottom of the swing is way too low. You kind of want it to go all the way up or at least like meet somewhere up here because it was, would basically like lazy boy recliner you back and Ovidia's has even fallen out the back of it. <laughs> it was funny, but not safe. Um, we need to hose that down too. Should we hose it while it's up or we're going to hose it down when you get it off? Uh, we, can, we can hose it. Okay. So Zeph's going to be fixing the... The only reason it didn't work and function well was because the chains weren't right and i'm like how many years did they have this in here they bothered to anchor it into the porch but never bothered to hang it properly i don't know they tried to fix it with some cords that was extra so i might leave these need... old chains back here do you need some scissors for those some cords? New chains to the front no i can cut them with these pliers all right i'm gonna pull up the comments see how the video is doing we're streaming we're kind of at the range of the Wi-Fi, so we're on LTE, so you guys will have to let us know. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Everybody says, happy birthday, Odelia. Uh, oh, dear, first-time driver. <laughs> um, one day closer for the Ray family moving in. Yeah, as soon as we're done with this, we're going to be working on the roof. Um, we had to take a pause yesterday from the roof, and we'll, I'll show you while Zeb's doing that. We... Um, added two posts tell them about your post story your sad sad post story so i love the big open porch it's the reason why we bought this house but the porch was saggy like i tried to fix it with a big LBLB. like a mom who's breastfed five kids and needs a good bra saggy so oh, no. <laughs> actually i only breastfed oh, four no. <laughs> Um, anyways, we tried everything to give it the support it needed without posts, but it just wasn't working and we really needed to get it level before we put the fascia on the front to do the roofing. So we went ahead, these posts are going to stay, but we will wrap them and then make them look good and probably add corbels, which means these posts on the far end, which are crooked and not correct at all for the house are going to get replaced as well. So these will probably be a smaller version of what we do on the end. We're actually gonna wind up changing the entire look of the front of this house when we add the beams, because we're gonna change it to be a more farmhouse style and less craftsman, because in reality, the house is not super craftsman other than the posts, and the posts are crooked. Like instead of going up, they're like up and like over to the side, and then one side is straight, and they're just not attractive. Also yesterday while I was doing, if you didn't watch it, we had a, if you're a channel member, check it out. Um, we talked about front porch ideas and I painted the um, windows yesterday. And we, can you see the different, three different colors on the house? We're actually gonna be going with this color right here. It's extra white. So that's what we did yesterday with our channel members. We talked about colors, painted the windows, and then, um, yeah. And then we did some porch posts and Zeb jacked up the house. So now she's all Victoria secreted up and ready for us to finish the roof now that we've got it all straight. All right, Zeb, how are you doing over there? Um, I'm doing all right. I might have to get real creative. I'm trying to 
pulling oh, us off this other chain. So. Katie Scott's getting new windows today. Yay, mm -hmm. Katie. That's awesome. We have actually, so we're doing black windows across the front, which I'm kind of sad because we have a window in our bathroom that you can see from the front. It's going to be white. I already ordered it, so that's duck as is. But these windows are the original windows, so I was able to paint the wood black, no problem. I used Little Black Dress and Kills Clear. On the addition, we ordered black pillow windows, which are super spendy, and those are going to be coming in, and they'll match the black garage doors. But around the other sides of the house, we're just doing white because it would have been like, what, $15,000 for windows? They're literally three to They're four like times six, more. They're like $700 a window. Six to $700 a window versus $130. I'm like, we'll take white. Well, I think the other the ones are like $164 a window. Yeah. So we decided that we were going to go with the cheaper cookies around the outside. Kind of like how you see they like uh, do siding on the front and stucco on the back. Similar concept, except for we're probably going to side all the way around. It's a fly. Stucco is only cheaper if you know how to do it yourself, and we don't, so <laughs> we're going to do siding because Zeb's a carpenter, not a stucco man. All right, back over to Zeb. How's it coming? I'm wrestling with this. Are I don't know if I can get this clasp off. I might have to cut it off with a grinder. Oh. You um, thought you could do it, and you can't. I, I think you can. I I'm going to give it a good... I'm going to go get scissors. I'm going to give it a good Boy Scout effort. So I just got some vice grips and some lineman pliers here trying to uh, persuade this to not be stuck together, close together. It's basically like an oval eye loop. Hey, Caitlin, if you can't hear it, you might want to hop out and hop back in because I think the sound is working for everybody else. Uh, Katie Scott says the contractors are doing our kitchen sliders right now, so they're listening to the live in the background. <laughs> hey, contractors, do a good job. Katie's my friend. <laughs> Oh, I wish I had contractors. I have contractor and me. All right, I gotta go get one tool. Um, right. Tell them what we're gonna paint this and why. Can anybody guess what color we're gonna paint it? So I could have left it white, but there's a whole lot of white and black going on. So look what I got. A can of apothecary. Um, we're also going to paint the roof at the farmhouse. So like this underside here, is gonna be painted apothecary as well. I'm probably just gonna have apothecary color matched with an exterior paint because that would be a lot of quarts of paint. But we wanted to do, it's called a haint ceiling and it gets rid of bad spirits and bugs don't land on it. That's what I read. Anyways, it's something from the South. And I feel like this is definitely reminiscent of a big old Southern porch. So we're gonna paint it apothecary and then it will match the beadboard is also going to be painted apothecary. Have you guys seen my beadboard? Hold on. Whoa, it's bright. There you go. Is that not gorgeous? We are saving the beadboard, much to Zeb's dismay. But, it's fine. <laughs> it's but, something yeah. I don't have to redo. I'm just going to have to do a lot of repair on it. Sorry, that was really bright. You probably saw all my wrinkles. I'm going to come back here in the shade. All right, let's see if there's any questions here. Well, I thought this was going to be much easier. We should be painting by now. I know. Wendy says, great idea for a pop-up color. Good for you. I love splashes. And Donna says she's shocked. You're not. Shirley did my, herself a JRV bun yesterday. I bet it looked cute. Did you put it on the tippy top of your head? My bun's always different because I only do it once. I don't mess with it. Whatever it is, it is. Uh, Jana says, wrinkles, schminkles. Jana, we could be friends. I mean, I do have an adult child now, but I don't want to look like I have an adult child. Maybe next year I'll be okay with this. <laughs> Jamie, how is Mariah healing? Um, Mariah is doing really, really good. She is going back to her doctor, so we'll know for sure today. She has an appointment this morning. Um, but yeah, she's doing good. My mother-in-law's hip is healing, as far as I know. She showed us the scar. Getting her hip replaced is no joke, man. Neither is having a mastectomy for Mariah. Um, that's serious business. My dad, on the other hand, had his surgery laparoscopically, so his scar is like little bitty tiny, and he has not shown me because they went up through the groin is how they got there, so I don't really know, know what it looks like. But. Jenna says, I totally know we'd be friends. <laughs> Did that make the swing? Nope, this is Waste Not Wednesday, so this is the swing that came with the house. So rather than replace the swing, we're just going to give it a new look and we're going to make it hang properly so we can actually sit in it. And one of the things, the first things we did when we got to the house was there used to be like this 
block wall that they added here, probably in like the 40s or 50s, judging by the brick. And so when you sit on the swing, if you swung, you'd hit the wall. You hit the like, wall in the back and the front. I'm like, not only was the swing not level, you couldn't actually swing in it because you'd hit the wall. So we're fixing that. We already knocked down that a long time ago. This front porch, I feel like it's going to be a, uh, a long process of repairs and fixes, uh, especially these posts. Those are going to be quite a deal. We probably won't finish the post until we actually move in. We just needed to get it level. And these posts are totally structural and staying in. So even if we don't make them pretty, the front porch is now secure because Zeb has anchored in those posts. Well, so we tried to go up above. If you watched videos, I think it was probably back in November or December, probably December, because your dad was here helping me then. Um, and I put a big LVL in the front of the porch from the inside of the house and tried to connect to that and come to find out the porch is, the it's way it's constructed mess. is different than the LVL will support. So. The LBL is supporting the rafters up above, and we got to support the sag of the soffit from below. I love that Zeb's manhandling this whole thing. I'm going to hose it down like you want. Oh, you're going to hose it down? All right. Look at my lawn. It's coming in. I've been pulling weeds and planting sod. The backyard's better than the front yard. Do you have something to dry this off with? Sure. I'm right back. That already yeah. looks better just hosing it down. Okay, everyone wants to know how much longer, longer the roofing situation will take. I wish it was done already, but we'll start putting sheeting on today. We'll insulate it and tonight probably and start sheeting and done. We'll, we'll move on. Promises, promises. Well, the front the the rafters are going to be done for sure all right here let me get you a good view back so you guys can see that black window wasps do not build a nest i don't know what the piggy's talking about in new orleans we paint the porch ceiling sky blue to confuse the bugs and wasps oh well that there you go peggy we're hoping it confuses all the bugs Lynn, if you are going to you're be, a long way from the camera so talk Lynn, if you're going to be using milk paint definitely make sure that the undercoat is all the same color so when it chips through it's good um i like to use big uh, dark and decrepit sorry not big top because there's a built-in sealer and then let that dry all the way and usually it won't chip through that usually Ooh. all right i don't know where to put i'm going to put the phone over here ready to paint all right so did you tell them about these swings? Did you? I don't remember if you mentioned that or not. That I got them at the thrift store for three bucks. I love that this, you know, it's mostly straight, but you can see the slats on the back. <laughs> They're kind of leaning. That's what kind of we're, like. We're leaving it. it gonna, it's going to match the front porch pillars. It's kind of like this whole house. I'm like, seriously. You know, you would probably should have flipped it upside down to paint the underneath first. Oh, are we painting the underneath? Oh, I don't know. Just leave it white. It'll be all right. Leave it white chippy. Yeah, and the paint is all drippy on here. I'm convinced that back in the day, nobody cared if paint dripped. If you don't turn around, it's going to be hard to hear. Oh, sorry. I'm convinced that back in the day that nobody cared if their paint drips because every old paint job has, like, like things are better in the good old days, except for paint finishes. <laughs> There's, like, drips on every part of this house. Or maybe it's just this house. I don't know. This has a nail coming out. Do you have a hammer? Yeah, I'll get it. Let's get it painted. Mostly we just needed the dust off and uh, it to be dry. The, a little uh, little dirt character in the apothecary will just add to the goodness. And I don't care that it's chippy underneath because I will probably distress it anyway so that way that chippy paint comes through. Well, I pulled off a board that was up here, up above yesterday and the paint on there is literally about an eighth of an inch thick because there are so many layers it uh that is it's crazy really old it's been painted a lot i totally could have 
I wonder if I have any stencils here. Um, the answer is no. The answer is no? No stencils here right now. Are you sure? I was going to go check my basket of stuff. Yep. How much are you willing to bet that there's no stencils here? Uh, I don't ever want to, like, completely bet because you hide things, but... I hide things? Well, you, you play some places and then uh, we, we don't find them again. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go look. You keep painting. Alright. This is going to look good with the black and white. That's what I was thinking. So in case Jamie didn't mention it, and if she did, second commercial, you can get the paint and the paint brushes at jamierayvintage.com. We carry all of our favorite supplies there to uh, do all your furniture painting. And the nice thing about this DIY paint and even the Sweet Pickens milk paint is, you know, minimal prep. You don't have to sand typically unless it's like really shiny and you can see your reflection in it. You can just clean your piece and go to painting saves us so much time and we get real good results with it. Hey, Odelia's back with the hearts. I hope she brought me a Powerade. Hearts is a gas station that's, it's about a four minute drive away on the golf cart. Uh, did you I... find stencils? I did. You did. I don't have a bird, but I have some letters. Hey. So I have the lowercase letters. What are you going to make it say? I just, I don't know. Rock with me. Sit down. Relax. I like rock with me. Rock with me. <laughs> That's too many words. How about chill or relax? Relax. I don't like chill. Relax. People Ray say family. That. People, people, How about Ray family? People tell me to chill when I'm getting excited. I, I tell you to chill when you're getting excited. I have the, oh, I have the bigger letters, the bigger lowercase. All right, our, how about rays? Our, a. Don't forget your apostrophe. I don't think I have one, so it's just gonna stay Ray family. We'll have to make it up. Or else it's gonna give you an eye twitch. So I'm hoping by putting the chains high and all the way up that it fixes the swing so that it's more level. I haven't actually tested that theory. I just, you know, from making wooden swings in trees, I think that's going to work for this big swing too. You haven't actually tested it. Well, there's no time to test it like... Like in a live video. Yeah, a live video is like the first, first time. Family. Okay, I think I got all the letters out. I got your guys' treats. Thanks. All right, thanks, Odelia. Okay, do we want to do light, or I was thinking weathered wood, stencil? Uh, weathered wood. Okay. Or I would actually go little black dress, to be honest. I think little black dress is going to be too garish. You think so? Okay. I think it would match the windows and the trim on the door. Well, I already have weathered wood. Okay. So this you know, the nice thing is oh. we can just switch it, if not. What do you think? So this is the weathered wood. That or black? I you think, want black? I think black. Okay. But it needs to dry first. I know. So we have a like a little Frenchy or a French round in there at all? It would be nice to use to get in between all these slats or rungs. So we were painting the wall with latex yesterday in the uh, channel member video just to see what the samples look like because we're using an exterior uh, paint. We're not going to paint it with DIY paint for the exterior of the house. And it wasn't covering. I was like brushing it and it wasn't covering like with one stroke. I was like, what's wrong with this paint? Well, I'll, I'll spray it on the house when we get to actually doing the whole house, but it was a little frustrating.
Here's the insider. Now, here's the thing, though. I used Is it this, black? I used it yesterday. Yeah, it's kind of black, but I think it'll be all right. All I'm right. going to do the back. Well, can you go from the back and just paint these flat? Can you tip that for me? Yep. All right. Maybe answer comments for a minute. They've been having to listen to me just talk they and talk and talk. Black is too harsh. Well, that's too late. I got black, so she's. I submitted to. She's them. committed to it. You know, the nice thing is, though, if it doesn't look good, we can just go right over it again with whatever, whatever color we want. Can you get that again for me? Yeah. Maybe Did I should so. paint the black since I here. Swap me. I'll paint the back side because I can reach it, and you paint the front. <laughs> All right, now we have eight brushes that are wet. Oh yeah, that's much better. They said Ray family established. That's a lot of words. I'm just going to do Ray family. Maybe later we could add something to it. I'll just put some paint like in there and then you smear it around with that tag team. All right. So stop tipping your brush, just smear it off. Well, I can reach and you're not getting me enough. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, Odelia is on here now because she's back from her. This is bigger than I thought it was. Oh, big truck coming. What are we going to oh. seal this with? Are we sealing this? Yeah. Or are we going to let yeah. it wear naturally? No, we'll put Kills Clear on it. So Kills Clear? We're going to use Sweet Pickens Top though. So Kills Clear is a water-based exterior sealer that we use um, on our furniture that we put outside under our little pavilion. If you guys remember those videos from last year, and Back it is held we up. This house and we redid our whole backyard. It was it was literally like a month before we bought this house, but it's held up well. Like we left the furniture outside all winter long. It got snowed on, and it's fine. We did do about four coats of that. They're giving us all kinds of things to like write out. I just decided on Bray Family. So, so on Bray Family, I think is the the winner. Putting our, I am a hot mess when it comes to paint. Maybe I'm like all the people that painted this stuff before. Can you get the back though? I can't get like, can you get where I'm doing right now? Oh yeah. Like I can't get that with this brush. Yep, yeah, just run your, uh, run your so brush So I'm using strips. the flat, uh, this is the smooth talker, which is great for flat surfaces. And Zeb is using the insider, which quite literally gets inside stuff. Look, this, so. the little point on this, it's kind of mashed because I've been really mushing at it, but it makes it so easy to get into like details and things. Yeah. Did we have all the letters to do yeah. Ray Family? It's all right there. We probably should move it. I need a swing to go on the porch. She does. I don't have Lenora. That's. I've never had a porch like this before. No, I, that's that's not true. Our first house had a big porch. Yeah. We had big chairs. You had like add iron deck chairs. Back uh, the there. first set of furniture I ever bought was uh, actually no, I put that inside, huh? The wicker. Yeah, you put the wicker I bought inside. Used, I bought used add iron deck stuff though, second hand at a at yard sales and stuff. Our first house we ever built. I wish I had a picture of it. It was so cool. I'm sure we have pictures. Somewhere. I was farmhouse way back when. It was butter yellow with a red front door, siding. Side car white garage, trim. white trim, big front porch. We didn't live there very long in true fashion on first houses. What was it like? Maybe two, three years all total because we bought it. And, and then, then a year later, we moved down to Tucson and bought another home and rented that house out. And then about a year and a half later, we moved back to it. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then, then about two years after that, we moved up to Utah. And are we leaving these chains on the bottom? I'll get them off. We're trying not to paint them? No, you can paint them. Okay. I need, I was like, where's the paint? I stole it. Alright, we're almost done. We need like a little chair to put the paint on. You could get the step stool. I had to use the step stool to paint the windows yesterday. Okay. 
Here, I'm I gonna don't bring care if it's close. perfect coverage because I was gonna actually take the sander and distress it. Oh, you're gonna distress it a little bit? Yeah, distress it a little, get a little chippy. I'm gonna bring them close so they can see the chippy through the apothecary. Okay. I'm putting the comments here. Oh. Jamie just dropped all the apothecary. And luckily I control my mouth and just said, shh. <laughs> scoop it up. Lumpy. Scoop it up quick. Get those good dirt hey, grains in there. You're showing my muffin top while I'm bent over. This is not an attractive position. <laughs> Sorry. It's live, live we video. We should paint the front porch apothecary. I like this. Yeah, uh oh, that might be too much apothecary. Is it really ever too much? So this is There's the good be a chippy lot of light on the house that we're leaving, and we'll sand some of that off and seal some of it in. It'll be. Oh, all right. I'm thinking we should do apothecary and then do a big white painted rug with a Jamie Ray vintage stencil. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that while you're working on the roof. You don't need me up there, do you? Up on the roof? Yeah. No, I mean it's it's kind of I, every now and then I need you to hand me boards, but it's kind of a one man show up yep. there because of the way I've got to cut them all and, and shape them. And you can't do, you got to measure from one this board to the if next. If I redo this porch, it won't like, it's okay that it's done before we do the siding, right? I almost like this white chippy underneath, like just by itself. Should we leave that? What? Or paint the whole thing apothecary? Paint the whole thing. All right. As soon as I get the paint back in the can. As soon as the paint goes in the can. It's a good thing this whole porch needs like resurfaced. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just, this paint has a little texture on it on my brush now. It's got salt wash, just kidding. It's got dirt. It's yeah. got dirt, it's not salt wash, it's dirt. It's dirt. You, I thought you were gonna paint the whole back of this. You did not, are we doing that now? I had the or? little brush. I was just painting the slats. Okay. All right, and we're back. I promise I didn't do that just for comic's sake. I really did just drop half a quart of apothecary. It's okay. We're refinishing the whole porch anyway. I'm it just will, testing out color samples. It will either get uh, <laughs> I've got a grinder off where some bricks were. Oh yeah, I forgot that. Maybe I'll just rent the grinder and I'll do that today. Well, I have I have the, the bit for my grinder that works. Oh, I thought we were going to rent a grinder. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I was talking to you about it the other day and you're like, no, you need a big one. Well, if you're going to do the, the whole AG. thing, you need a big one. Well, I don't need a I'm not going to do the whole thing. Well, we might should grind it a little bit. It's pretty bad. If you're painting it, I don't think it'll matter. Well, I need to give it a good, nice surface to get the paint to adhere to. All I know is that it came with indoor-outdoor carpet, and that had to go. You should show them the show them the carpet. I will. I'll just know that it was. So we were telling channel members yesterday this road is a little busier than we thought it was when we first bought the house. It's in between two through streets and people cut through here to get to the other through street but only like during the day yeah and the evenings in the morning it's not bad it's like in the middle of the day we got like right now they're doing some construction over there so we've got big trucks that come by through here once the construction's done it'll slow down yeah all right i'm gonna so hopefully it's not too loud for well, you it's guys it's actually pretty great because if you're bored you can just sit and watch traffic yeah I wave, at I, I wave. I wave at everybody who uh, who drives by, and they're all looking at what we're doing. Some guy rolled his window down to tell me he loves what we're doing. Nice. All right, we gotta and get I, this. I need the can. You keep walking around with it. All right, you can start stenciling. It's dry enough for that. Is it dry enough up there? Yeah. It's well. It's mostly dry. Mostly. Yeah, oh, should I get some tape and do a, like a line so I have no, a straight just line? line it up with this. this oh, this you just little, want it well, up see on where the top? it kind of curves right here. Just line it up with that. There's Although, a, there's a oh, curve? you can't do that because it's lowercase and there's a Y, so it's a Y. I don't know. Do whatever you want. I'm gonna have to line it there up. There is out. tape in my green buffet in the house.
Did Odelia bring us our waters? Uh, I think she put them right there. Oh. Oh, soda and Gatorade, Odelia. She didn't get water. She's like, she well, I told to her I wanted a Gatorade, but the soda's for you. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna be well caffeinated today. Thing is, I drink like a quarter of it, and then the rest gets pitched because I just don't drink that much soda. It's not good for you. And I don't need that much caffeine. I'm good. <laughs> I thought you woke up in the morning caffeinated. I do. I'm ca I'm caffeinated on life. You're pre-caffeinated? I come pre-caffeinated. My mom bore me like that. All right, there's... All right, I'm going to try to get in between these slats here. Whoa, there's a drip of paint there. All right. Okay. Here's the paint. I'll probably show have a bunch of YouTube... YouTube stalker fans, probably. We actually just have local people that we know. We've been here for a while. We've lived here for, we lived in Lehigh for how many years? Um, Harrington, years? yeah, Harrington was five when we moved up here. He just turned 18. So Jamie's thinking of painting the whole porch apothecary with the black trim. We'll see. And I don't, this was like this, the black down, down below, that was like that. There's like a little stucco almost like trim down below it's it's actually plaster it, so i don't know we might have to knock that off yeah we'll see all right you can start stenciling and start okay i'm gonna just finish painting in between these there's don't rungs. forget this part here and up above like all these front rungs right yeah. here me. i'll get all the details you know me i'm detail oriented I'll get back to comments in a little bit. I'm not super good at painting and comment watching today. Apparently I can't even paint without dropping paint. Yesterday when we were picking up, I had three rolls of tape out here. Right it's in my room. green buffet. I already told you that, but you didn't hear me. How much are you doing, though? So I'm just making a tape line so that the uh, the Ray family is, eh, I might just go off of this line here and That's put the top of the letters right there That's instead of taping it. Thinking. So if you don't have a convenient line like that that you want to go off from, you can put a tape line, measure, put a tape line. I hope you can still hear me between the trucks. So measure where you want it, put a tape line. I will find center on here and start from the center and go out. I think that you might be able to see underneath here, like when it's hanging. No, I'm going to hang it flat. Oh, okay. It won't have the tip like it was before. All right. And I'm not going to worry about painting underneath. I am going to finish painting the back, though, because you will be able to see that. And we're not worrying about the chip of paint because we're going to sand it and make it chippy. So. so 55 inches, what is that? 22 and 3 quarters? 22 and a half. No, 27 and a half. Are you asking me? 27 and a half. I can't do math <laughs> on camera. I don't do math on camera. I just ask Siri. Okay, there's the middle. Parents is taking a class in macroeconomics. And he t I told him he could come back next summer and do like 
get our business whipped into shape. Where did you put the stencil? Did you have all the letters out? Yeah, they're right there. Some of okay. them we have to reuse. Because there's similar letters in the A and family, the A and the Y. But I think I got it all out. Deb, you want to check my phone for comments? I think it's over there somewhere. Yeah. Did say do a, like a stencil pattern. Um, Nicolette Hare says, do like a paint it and then do like a stencil pattern, almost like tiles. I, oh, on the floor? I don't think I have watched such a silent Jamie and Zeb before. <laughs> We're very focused on getting this done, Jane. <laughs> it's taking up a lot of my focus energy. This is like painting a couch. It's huge. Like you think you got it all and then you're like, oh, there's... Valerie, your... I don't think Harrington's watching the videos homesick. He didn't watch them before. I don't think he's going to start watching them now. No, we Snapchat them every day. Well, I Snapchat them because Zeb refuses to download it. But it's how, that's how he communicates is using apps. So I just talk to him every day and send him pictures. Today I sent him a picture from Paco's Tacos with our breakfast burrito because that's his favorite breakfast joint. There's a lot of drippies on the bottom of this, but I think they're really good. So I'm just going to leave it. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it figured out. There's so much paint dripping inside here. Ooh, that one's bad. Sorry, guys. That's a, that's a squeaky truck. Whatever it's got, it's broke. We should have done this on the back porch. It's much quieter back there. It is much quieter on the back porch. In hindsight. Okay, so I'm going to put all the top of the letters on this line here. Sorry, guys. I'm going to pick up comments here in a second. I would worry less about the back. We can paint that later. Well, I don't really have anything else to do. Uh, you could read comments. Oh, well, that's true. But I mean, I'm just saying, like, I don't have anything else to do on this project. And I need. we both know that we're never going to get back to this. <laughs> yeah, once we're done right now in the video, it's it's going to be what it Whatever is. Whatever gets finished is usually all. Where's the little black dress that you got? Uh, did I bring it out I here? thought you said you grabbed it. I thought I did, too. from jamierayvintagehome.com. It's our pocket tee. Commercial break. Alright. I'm trying to reach all the way down there. I think I got it. I missed one little spot. I think I could come from underneath here. So Paula says on the side underneath you can see the white on the corner. Maybe you got it. We're going to sand it and distress it. When we'll, we hang we'll find it, all if I need stuff. to touch it up, I can. That's good. I need a piece of cardboard. One more thing to grab. You can just offload on the patio. Whew! It's warm out here. I keep meaning to tell you, I have some of those old school metal lawn chairs at the shop that need to come here too. People keep trying to buy them. I'm putting these in water. I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I've got Little Black Dress, and this is the number 24 JRV stencil brush. It's, uh, it's one of my favorite sizes. It's small enough to do small detail work, big enough if you've got a large stencil, it doesn't take all day. We got a little bit of a breeze going, so these should dry pretty quick. Oh, look, I already got Birkenstock prints in the, in the paint. So oh. I am just eyeballing these letters, but I'm just going, I'm kind of indexing off the edge of the letter. What paint is on the bottom shelf of the sawhorse? Weathered wood is what's there. Um, also, little pro tip, if you get paint on your black shirt, get as much off as you can and then just take a Sharpie. <laughs> That's what I do. I have a lot of black shirts. So when are we getting the new stencils? Uh, probably a couple weeks. Didn't we get, did we get some today? We did get some today to test use and then I have more coming in the next week. Debbie has her grand opening the end of this month. And so we are hoping the new stencil release is done by Debbie's grand opening. If you guys are close to California, Zeb and I are going to be in Solana Beach the end of this week at Debbie's DIY a go go her new store in Encinitas actually not Solana Beach Encinitas so check us out we're going to be doing a demo and then a round table we'll do a lot of streaming while we're there we'll definitely do some vlogging so that way if you guys watch Saturday morning's video we'll have footage from Friday and us leaving on Thursday also we are going to pre-record our stay-at-home shopping network and our thrift haul for that week so you don't have to worry about while we're out of town missing our regular videos I, uh, I think I put my R a little too close but it'll be all right it's fine, we'll just distress it. When you distress it, everything everything gets better. Did yeah. I lose some stencils? Did they get blown away? Yeah, they're right here. I like it a lot. Okay, let me go find sandpaper. Actually, you know what? You need to, what, I, can I sand this off camera, like to the side when you're working on getting those chains off? Mm, or does it have to be sanded here? Doubtful. All right, you'll just have to pull the camera back so I don't. Okay, so I just barely have enough room to do the, uh, the F up above the line. It's in there somewhere. I may have gone too juicy on this F. No, it's okay. Sandpaper to the shop. Yeah, because um, I won't remember, but okay. Finishing up I'm those corbels that were ordered and the candlesticks. I'm trying to remember how to spell family. F A M I L Y. <laughs> I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> Sounded like a like it could happen. Although you're much better at spelling than I am, and uh, grammar. I do lots of writing in my spare time. So. 20 years of writing stuff down. You've probably been writing longer than 20 years, Marjorie. Uh, no, I think so. I was about to say, where's my phone? It's in my back pocket. Leslie says, we're supposedly under lockdown and mask requirements, but a lot of people aren't wearing masks. We wear masks um, anytime we go anytime out we're out in public. public. Yeah, it needs the bird. We'll put the bird on it later. We'll give it the bird. And we will paint the underside. Who said, please paint it? Somebody did. K Katrina, just for you, I will, eventually. Um, I love that stencil brush. It's the perfect size. It is. I love them. And I, we use them for waxing too. Caitlin, double check. It's the end of the month, not the end of this week. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I say that? It's the end of this month. I swear I said end of month. Check with Debbie. She knows what it is. She'll probably be live today showing more of her shop on her channel. 
bottom back. Everybody is like super uh, concerned with what we're painting on this. We will paint it all eventually. <laughs> I mean, and if you can't see, it doesn't. It didn't happen. Renee's still under travel. Oh yeah, I did say the end of the week. It's the end of the month. We're gonna drive there in the expedition. We'll probably bring some junk to Debbie or bring some junk home. Zeb and I like to take road trips. We're not, we have the nanny coming to be with the grandparents and the kids. And so Zeb and I we like to take- We were gonna take everybody, but the girls yeah. have football games. And if they miss one game, they have to sit out the next game. So we're like, well, we don't want them to miss two games. Oh, you centered that? I was totally gonna put Ray family on the side in no. case it wasn't like exactly centered. Uh, I, I think I got it. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna, we like to talk business when we travel. The problem is when I get about five hours into the trip, we've got it all worked out and I'm ready to go to work, but I'm stuck in a car. Hey, Les. She's here, but she wasn't bugging me about painting the bottom. That's because you love me, Les. And I'm not selling this. So if people don't like it because the bottom's not painted, they could just sit somewhere else. Well, and the white doesn't not go with it. Yeah, it's fine. It's not like it's raw wood. I just double negated in my sentence and making up all kinds of fun stuff today. Zeb, did giving up sugar make you feel different physically? Yeah, it made him grumpy. Yeah, I was, I was a little grumpier. Uh, I, I've been eating sugar again though, so I'm back and I'm yeah. also fluffy. Yeah, I lost some weight, but then I gained some weight. I ate some, uh, my mom's calling me. So a little bit of stress eating since my oldest left. All right, why don't you pull that back a little ways that I will. I have to pull what back? Oh, Zeb, you got, how did you get dust all in there? I don't know. Do you know where my other pliers went? I've got to, oh, here they are. Your other pliers? Yeah, I don't know. My other, other pliers. I gotta pull this off real fast and then we'll hang it. One of the things that I love it. about the farmhouse is across the street, you can't see it, but there's a stream. And I never realized it, but I always tell Zeb, like whenever I come here, I feel like it calms me down and time slows. And then I realized there's water across the street. And I don't know about you guys, but water is one of those natural elements. Like if you take me to the beach, I fall asleep in about five minutes. So I'm super excited to have the stream across the street. Zeb's the one who can't sit still on the beach. I'm the one who's like, don't talk to me. After about two minutes, I'm like, all right, I guess I'll go build like some sort of sand castle or find some shells or we'll, we'll see how cold this water really is. How long of a drive is it to Debbie's? About 10 hours. Yeah, 10 hours-ish. I need to wait a few minutes to... It's about five and a half, six hours, depending on if you get stuck in construction or traffic to Vegas. And then from there, it's about three and a half. Just trying to get rid of all like the wet paint blobs because we're gonna sand it. And I don't want to gum up my sandpaper. So this is what I was fighting. I don't know if you guys can see this right here. I wear apothecary well, thanks. It's my little... signature. Some people have signature perfumes. I have signature paint colors that I wound up. <laughs> I wind up being painted in. So this little ring is what I'm messing with here. I do not enjoy uh, road trips with children. Um, I can only do our 10 kids hours. Our kids aren't good in the car. I can only do 10 hours. And actually probably the only reason I can road trip is because I have a phone with internet so I can get work done. Oh, now I got paint in my hair. Which way are we hanging the swing? Out towards the road, Les, so we can watch all of our neighbors. The people watching is good here. All right, we're about ready to hang this thing. Let's see. Can you use the same stencil brush for wax and stencils? Yes, but you have to get all the wax out before you paint because wax is a resist. So just use warm water and soap and clean the wax out and then you can, use, you can go back and forth. I do. Should you? Probably not. Do I? Yes. All right, it's dry enough. Oh, are you gonna stand? Is that too loud? Let me ask. I'm more concerned about your lack of safety glasses and oh, okay. and lung protection. The mask is on the back porch should you require it. She has the hardest time wearing the masks. Alright, one more to go and We'll be ready to put new chains on. These other chains that came on these swings from the thrift store, I think they were three bucks a piece. 
which is super cheap for chains. And then we also have the seats, the plastic seats. I think those seats are like $20, $30 a seat if you were to buy them now. That's perfect. You're ready. Here, look, I'll put my safety glasses on too. Here, go stand down over there then. loud. It's not going to help. <laughs> back and look at questions for All right, a minute. I will. I'm going to do some standing by hand too. If there's a few spaces I place my finger too. I might need to go get my vice to bend this out of this chain. But oh. you guys should make your waste not Wednesday things that have to be done for the farmhouse. This is one of them. That's why we're here today. We usually do. If there's things we can do for the farmhouse, we do. So that way we multitask. Will the swing get top coated? Yes. We will use Kills clear, it's a great outdoor sealer, but I'm probably gonna wait because it's still a little wet. And I might take this whole thing out um, to the back porch and I might just spray it as opposed to roll it. Because that will be much easier to get into all these cracks and stuff. We'll be up in the bum. And I have a sprayer that I can just throw it in so it'll be faster. Oh. So. Um, careful when you're sanding like new freshly painted black paint. Because it sometimes will smear a little bit. This is not too bad. If 
if I was going to not spray it, I would probably roll a coat of sealer over that real quick. Let that dry and then seal it so I don't smear the paint. Peggy Tyrell, I can't remember the name of her business. She's a DIY retailer. She mentioned that trick and I was like, oh, that's genius. Because this is water soluble paint. So if you put water-based sealer and you push really hard, you can smear it. I got it, guys. <gasps> you did a good job. I text my hubby with a screenshot of you two and asked if we could do this ASAP. He responded with, I'm your Zeb, you be my Jamie, and we'll make it happen. <laughs> I love that. Um, love how you take a break from construction to do fun projects. Well, that's why we have a YouTube channel. So we do, I mean, it's our job, right, to do fun stuff. We are going to reorganize these lights that Zeb put up here, because with a new post, they look funky. I think we're gonna go to four of them. We yeah. were going to maybe do can lights, but I was like, we don't have any lights on the front of the house and I really want a light fixture just because I feel like it softens the front porch. Let's see. Fits my bun perfectly. I know. Everybody always laughs at it. It like, fits over the top of my messy bun. My hair is a hot. This is, people out there like, wear your hair down. It's so pretty. I don't live that kind of a life, especially in the summer. It's so hot. Oh no, Jamie, did you cut your arm? No. I got paint on it. How about a wooden floor? Less, I've thought about a wooden floor on the front and I it's definitely consider it. I think that a wooden floor is probably a few years out because that's gonna be a pretty big project. So for the time being, we probably will wind up doing a cement paint or, or at least we'll do DIY paint and a cement sealer and I'll stencil the front porch and make it look cool. I was thinking like just keep the front porch one solid color and then stencil a big rug by the front door. I thought that would be fun. This other side's not going as well. What smart bulbs did you get? We used Phillips and then for the can lights, I don't know the brand because we went to Lowe's for them and I'm kind of sad. I wish we would just done Phillips because they would have been all the same brand, but we weren't at Home Depot, so. Well, and they were, I don't know that they had the can lights at Home Depot that would have been Phillips anyway. Shouldn't the chain be attached to the armrest? Yes, it does. Um, maybe. But I'm hoping this works. If it doesn't, I'll have to reinforce it here. We're going to, we're going to try this out and see. But if not, Les, it will be getting attached to the armrest. All right. Ivana said, oh, my Lanta, but I don't know why. Ivana lives here in Utah. She has a store in Salt Lake. Okay, you want to grab that side of the swing? Here, let me. Yes. Peggy says she likes the lights on the front porch because it keeps it from looking too modern. I agree. So we're probably just going to add a fourth light. You know what you could do? Leave those lights where they are and just add a, two more lights. One on that side and then one on this side. And they I don't need have to you to grab there. this side here. All right. We're just going to put it over where the chains are. I can see how much I need to extend them. You want me to them. set on the floor? Yeah. Okay. Definitely go underneath because we have to paint the bottom. Well, we painted the bottom-ish. Okay. Leslie says I use a clip. My hair isn't thick anymore. You may have to raise these up. These are going to be... Brianna says I've been doing a bullet. Half bun, half down. A bun mullet. That's funny. What do you need me to do, sweetie? Um, oh, there's, oh no, there's a pot to carry on my new little black dress. I feel like... I feel like what? Well... That's too far down. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll have to low. adjust it. Well, you can adjust that up there. Yeah. See? These ones are open, so why don't you adjust the height up here and then we'll do the front. Let's see how that is. You need the step still? Okay, so I'll adjust the back side. I think that one's the one that's going to be too, too short. You should have Googled how to do a porch swing. Nah. So you can just adjust the back. You should have adjusted the back first because this one can come up and you can just pull it down. Take this off and pull that down. Well, I'm going to have to get the grinder out oh. and do something. Now that's a lot of chain moving. I'll just move these back to, to be level. Do you need to hold it? Um, yeah, if you can keep that side from swinging, that would be helpful. All right. 
better. You probably let it go. Let it go. Let it go. The other good thing about doing this on the front porch is Zeb was forced to finally let me clean the front porch. It was been a hot mess for months. <laughs> I was like, we're going to film out here. we got to clean it. Okay, so that. Oh, maybe. Rachel says, no one look underneath. You'll paint it eventually. You can't even see underneath unless you're a toddler crawling. Is that or not? unless Les ever comes to visit and she gets down on her hands and knees and looks under there. I think that's good. Should I test it out? Oh, uh, you're probably going to get apothecary on your bum. Uh, no, it's dry. Um, it still tippies forward. Yeah, I'm gonna rock it back a little. All right, is there a pop carry on my butt? No. And we're like an inch high on this side, half an inch high on this side. Michelle, am I feeling like a glamorous YouTube sensation? It's not that kind of channel. <laughs> it's more like a comedy act which is just my life. I've never been graceful at all. Like, in the least little bit. My girls were dancers. They didn't get any of their skills from me when they did dance, or cheer for that matter. I have a lot of talents, but grace isn't one of them. It's also why I'm afraid of heights. Zeb is like a construction ninja. He can hop around upstairs no problem. I slid down the stairs just trying to throw a shovel off the roof and jammed my finger last week. There we go. Oh. It's a little high for you. You could kick your feet like a little kid. They touch the ground like my toes. <laughs> this is so much better. Yeah, I think I like that it. works. And just because they had the A frame on it down here, I think just putting it up there all the way fixed it. I'll have to get the chains. I'll probably get like a small cable or another loop and reinforce the top so that they don't want to tip back and forth because right now they're just chained through the eye bolts so they could slide back and forth oh, and yeah, they can get uneven. Where it's supposed to be. You know yeah. what this really needs? What? Some green sack pillows. Oh yeah. yeah. You know what I think is going to be like it needs a little green sack kitty. The green sack cat? Are we getting any more of those? I ordered some. Because the jelly is allergic to You had cats, one. I'm like, why did you only get one? You should have got 400. I didn't order that. She gave it to me as a teaser. Like, <laughs> she sends me good stuff and then I order more. All right. This works really good. Thank you guys. Make sure you're hitting up jamierayvintage.com. Here, scooch off it so we can show them what it looks like. And products we used and the stencils are JRV stencils. So you can pick those up on our website or visit one of your local retailers for the JRV stencils. I think Here. that's a vast improvement. Here, back up a little and show. Yeah. You'll have this. We'll take a good picture and post it somewhere with all, all the swings and stuff. See, we're going to get a new post here. We got this, but I like the, pop, the like, pop of color right here. It's good. It's good, Zeb. I like it. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Hit up jamierayvintage.com for paint and products. jamierayvintagehome.com for clothes like this pocket tee and home decor. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. All right, guys. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Catch you guys later.